Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Martinez with Martinez Art Lab. We are going to do a digital color wheel right now. So right now I'm in my Google Drive and I'm going to navigate and create a new file in Google Drawings. So I will click New, go to More and Google Drawings. When I click on that, it's going to open up a new blank file. The very first thing I'm going to do is double click on Untitled Drawing. I'm going to type my full name and then I'm going to type the name of the project and today it's digital color wheel. Okay, and then I'll click off to the side and you saw that save, it says save to drive. So everything I do from this point is going to save to my Google Drive. When I need to find this file, I'm going to navigate to my Google Drive and search for this file name. And that's how I'm going to get to my file and be able to turn it in to Google Classroom. Now, let's get started on our digital color wheel. So we are going to do 12, um, a 12 color color wheel. So what's going to happen, we're going to do it a little bit differently today. And the way we're going to make it is I'm going to draw a shape on here, a circle, just to be our guideline. Okay, so I'm going to click on shape, click on a circle and then I want my circle to be a perfect circle so I'm going to hold down shift on my computer left click and drag I'm going to make my circle as big as I can and when I'm done I'm gonna release when I move my mouse I see these four arrows that look like a compass I'm gonna left click and drag and center my circle center it it doesn't need to be perfect but um, it can be close I made it actually a little bit too large, so I'm going to click on it, go to one of those anchor boxes, hold down shift, and left click and drag just to make it a little bit smaller. Now I'll move it one more time and center it. And now I'm going to take away that blue, so I'll click on fill color, transparent, and then I'll click on border weight and change that from one to four. I'll click off to the side and this is just my guideline. I'm gonna eventually delete this circle, okay? I'm gonna draw two more guidelines so I have them when I'm creating. So I'm gonna click on line. If you don't see that line, click this drop down arrow and click on line. When I move that line tool over to my circle, I see these tiny little purple circles that uh, pull up. So those are gonna be my guide as I draw these in. So I'm gonna left click, and go all the way down to make a vertical line. Now I just released my left click. So I'm gonna do the same to make a horizontal line. Left click, go all the way over, release my left click. So as I mentioned earlier, we're going to be deleting everything I just drew. These are just our guidelines. It's, it's kind of like um, having graph paper. It's, it's our guide here, okay? Um, I'll click on my select tool and click off to the side so I can see what I'm working with. Uh, before we get started adding our shapes and our color, I want to remind you, learning how to use Google Drawing on a video is perfect because if I'm talking too fast, if there's something you don't understand, you can pause the video, you can rewind the video, and you can go over this video as much as you need to. Okay, you can watch it 20 times if you need to. So just keep that in mind if we're working and you're getting a little frustrated working in Google Drawing. So what I'm going to do for this project is click on shape and I'm going to choose one shape and I'm going to repeat it 12 times using that circle as my guide. Um, for your shapes, uh, keep in mind, different shapes will be easier to work with than others. I don't want to put a limit on you on how and where you're moving your shapes. So I'm just going to get started and um, you can look and see what kind of creative color wheels you can come up with. I think I'm going to choose something. I could go to arrows. I could go to call outs. I could go to equations if I wanted. Anything you're finding under this icon, you can choose. I will choose um, stars, actually. So I'm going to left click and drag, and that's making a star for me. 
I don't really like the size of that though. So I'm gonna go to that anchor box on the corner, left click and drag until I get the size that I want. That's about the size. So here's what I'm working with now. I'm going to click on this and select it. So with my black arrow, it's already selected. And I'm going to copy this shape. So make, oh, I'm sorry. Um, we're going to go to edit and copy. And now I'm going to go to edit and paste. And then I'm going to do that till I have 12 shapes. So I've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. So those 12 shapes now need to go around in my color wheel. So I'm going to kind of just place them in general. They do not, if, if they're coloring the, or if they're covering the circle, that's okay. Because remember, we're going to move that. Um, so it doesn't matter if I need to eventually move those. The circle's there so I can get a decently, um, a decent shape, a decent circle shape for my color wheel. Okay. So I'm just kind of taking my shapes and outlining them around the circle. You're going to have about three shapes in each section. There's four sections. So I'm just moving them to about where I want them. And this one needs to go up a little. Okay, so I've got my 12 shapes. Now comes the fun part. I'm going to start my color wheel and I'm going to um, keep my colors in order. A color wheel is an arrangement of colors and it, it, it helps you um, have rules for colors and um, make your colors look good when you're making your art. So I'm gonna click on my first star and I'm going to change that star to red. Your colors do need to be the same or in the same order that I'm making. So our color wheels are always gonna stay in the same order. So I've started with red. All right, so I've started with red and what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip one color and I'm going to make sure I've got my black arrows selected. I'm going to skip one star and change that color to orange. I'm going to skip one star and change that color to yellow. This should not be yellow, so let me change that back. I'll just put that as white for now. Um, and then I'm going to skip one star, change that to green. Skip one star, change that to blue. Skip one star and change that to purple. Okay, so I've got the basis of my color wheel. Now, the rest of my color wheel needs to be a mix of the colors. So red and orange mixed together will make a red-orange. So I need to go to my fill color, click on that, and see if there is a color that looks red-orange. It does not look like there's a good red-orange there. So here's what I will do. I will click on red and I'm going to click back on that fill color and go to custom. When I go to custom, I can move my um, cursor here and it will help me change my color. I'm gonna go down to hue and make that a little orange. So it kind of looks like it's a mix of orange and red now. So I'm gonna go right here and make it, my new color is gonna be right there and I will click okay. And you see I've just mixed and made a new color that looks red-orange. Now I will do the same thing down to the next star. So I need to mix a color that's orange and yellow. So I will click on the fill color, click orange, click back on that fill color, click custom. And I'm going to change this hue so it's closer. I'm just left clicking and dragging. So it's closer to yellow. And then I'm going to move this. So this is a good kind of yellow orange and click OK. So now I've got that color that's a mix of yellow and orange. I might want to make this color a little more yellow, but for now it's good for what we're doing. So I've got yellow and green. I'm going to do the same. Go click on the fill color, click yellow. I'm going to go back to that fill color, click custom. And I'm going to change this hue so I can add more green. There we go, that looks good to me. And I'm gonna click okay. So now I've got a color that's a good mix of green and yellow. 
This color is going to mix green and blue. So I'm going to click on fill color, go to green, click on fill color, go to custom, and I'm going to change the hue so there is more blue in it. And I'm going to go right kind of over here and click OK. So this is a blue-green mix. Now, I want you to notice um, when I mix my blue and my purple, I've selected this star, that when I click on fill, all the colors I've just made are down here. So if I wanted to click on any of those colors, I can now add that color. But I need to add blue and purple together. So I'll go back to my custom. And I will add some more purple by changing my hue. And this is a really good one because you can even see the, the blue changing into purple here. So I can find a really good mix of a blue purple and click OK. So now I've got my blue purple right here. And lastly, I'm going to mix my red and my purple. So I'll click on fill. I'll go to my purple color and I'll click back on custom. Change this all the way over to closer to red. And I will bring my red purple color in. Okay, so I'm done almost with my color reel. I'm done with all the hard work. So I'm going to use my select tool to click on these lines and press delete on my keyboard. Click delete. Click delete. So I've got my color wheel made. Now what I need to do is make it a little more snazzy. So I'm going to use my select arrow, click left click and drag. And what I've done is select every single shape. Right now it's got a black outline on every single shape. I do not want that black outline there. So I'm going to click border color. Click it and click transparent. Then I'll click off to the side, and you can see how I've just changed my color wheel. Now, remember, if you make a mistake, click this undo button, and that will take you back to what you've just taken away, okay? But I, want, I wanted that move I just made, so I'll click redo to get that back. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is add a background. I'm going to add a black background because I, my color wheel is so colorful. I'm just going to add a simple black background. And the way I'm going to do that is click on shape, shapes, click on the rectangle. I'm going to left click and drag till it takes up the whole place. I'm going to go to fill color, click on black. And then I'm going to go to arrange, order, and send to back. Not send backwards, send to back. Click off to the side. Now my color wheel is completed. So this is what you will turn in for your grade. Have fun making your digital color wheel.